Well, folks, as always, I have my two trusty colleagues here. And welcome to Noel's World of Whiskey. Hi, how's it going there, Vern? And of course, where's our other buddy there? Oh, Sparky, hair of the dog. You've been into it early. You know what? Uh, you couldn't wait, could you? I hope you're in good enough shape for the review. So we're going to locate the Glenfiddich Distillery. Now we've been to the Balvenny, and this distillery, Glenfiddich, is the Big Brother, owned by William Grant and Sons. So we're going to Dufftown, and you'll see Balvenny Castle there, and right next to it is Glenfiddich Distillery, just south of Balvenny its little brother. Welcome to Noel's World of Whiskey. And uh, we've done a, a couple of uh, Glenfiddichs. And this one here, um, when I talk about value for your money, I brought this one on board. I think it was $82.50 for a 14-year-old bourbon barrel uh, Glenfiddich. This one is actually, uh, it's bottled at 43%. It's even higher than their 15, I believe. I think the 15 is only 40. That's the, um, I forget if that's the cognac finish or the Solera. But anyways, um, this is a, an interesting whiskey. Uh, we are looking at, uh, we're looking at casks. Uh, these casks, uh, they're, if I remember rightly, they're from um, uh, the um, Calvin Cooperage in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it's Brian uh, Kinsman is their, their malt master, and uh, Glenn Fittick's malt master, and um, he's, he's put these, uh, these barrels together to uh, mature 14 years, uh, this whiskey, and these are charred barrels, so we should get a little bit of sweetness out of them. Uh, basically, uh, this is the one, uh, the one that I was really focused on for value, value for your money. I think I, I mentioned Glenn Garrick was another really good value for your money. The 15-year-old uh, Glenn Grant was good value for your money. Um, uh, the 13, Craig Gallicky was good value for your money. Just, you know, picking some, some, some uh, good whiskeys, good, you know, have good reviews. Not just my review, but good reviews overall that are good value for your money. So we're going to give this one here a review. I have not reviewed this one. Uh, so uh, let's uh, go at her. Uh, we will be doing the nose first, of course, as we normally do. And this one is bottled at 43. Uh, the other Glenn, uh, that I think the 12 I did was 40. 
and the 15 was 40. So this is at 43 ABV, 43%. So, okay, let's uh, get at her there. Um, so we're um, we're getting lots of apples and pears. Um, it's uh, you know orchard orchard stuff going on here. And uh, maybe some uh, bit of bit of oak. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of the oak here, the bourbon uh, barrels. Uh, some fudge mixed in. We're going to get a little spices mixed in here. I can see a little bit of nutmeg. And um, a slight bit of that barrel char, I think, uh, is coming through here. Yeah, it's got a nice. Uh, it's very fragrant. Uh, that. You know, you could you could wear this stuff as a perfume, <laughs> but it is uh, the 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 age, the fourteen years in the casks, uh, the bourbon casks is coming out there. So, yeah, I kind of um, I, I do like this nose here because it's it, it goes from apples to uh, uh, you know maybe even some um, you've certainly a, I would say fudge. Uh, Caramel fudge, um, maybe a little bit of um, milk chocolate, and again mixed in with some uh, some spicy stuff there. Um, ah, even a little bit of pepper. Very slight bit of tobacco in the background there. Um, I would say some uh, cinnamon hots. You know the little cinnamon hot candies there. I'm, I'm smelling them. It's um, interesting. Let's um, let's go for the palate. So lunch. Oh yeah, You're the the bourbon barrel comes through. Um, I'm gonna say uh, right off the bat, lots of vanilla, and um, I'm getting uh, uh, fudge again. Fudge. Uh, I, I mentioned the, um, the 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 cinnamon hot hots there, the, the cinnamon hot candies. Um, it's a little bit of the, and these are things I've noticed. I've, I've, I drank a little bit of this stuff, as you can see. So, you know, I've I've noticed these things, uh, you know, previously. So, you know, I, I get a little bit of help along the way if I if I've uh, drank it prior. So. Um, Oh, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get our, our darker fruits now. So what we got in the nose uh, was the uh, the apples and the pears, and uh, we're now getting uh, I'm gonna say stewed fruits and maybe even some of the dark fruits there. Uh, uh, prunes. Um, uh, we're getting the raisins and. Um, Ah, gee whiz, it's, um, oh, that oak is starting to come through now. Okay, let's, let's top it up here. Yeah, the toasted oak is coming through. <clears throat> but the cinnamon and the, 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 uh, me, candied apples. <laughs> um... Very slight, uh, very, very slight um, bit of tobacco in the background. I am getting just, you know, but with it, the uh, the chocolate. This isn't so much uh, the, the, the um, milk chocolate now as, as it's kind of like a, it'd be a creamy dark chocolate. Um, it's, it, it's got a nice palate. This, this for a 14-year-old whiskey, it's, um, there's no bite. It's, um, it coats the tongue. So for 43, I'm getting my tongue basically, uh, you, you can taste the oils, it's in my mouth. It's not dry. And um, I'm going to go for the finish. We're going to make this a, a pretty condensed one tonight there. Uh, to the finish. Oh, more spices. 
Yep. Yeah, that, you know, this one here, it's it's interesting because it's a 43, but it's got the body of a 46. And uh, the oak is really coming through. Uh, they did a really good job on this. Uh, th this is definitely a big improvement over the 12. I mean, I don't, I'm not knocking the 12, but the 12 is nowhere near what this is. And the 15, I'm, yeah, I, I, I'm going to say there's definitely a lot more body in, in this than the 15. So, uh, what did I pay? 82, 83 bucks for this? I'll, I'll post it, but somewhere in that 82, 83 dollar range. So, you know, just thinking this is a good whiskey for a 82, 83 dollar whiskey. So, but um, lots of uh, lots of wood. Um, yeah, the charred barrel. And still has a little bit of that, you know, I'm going to say marzipan uh, sweetness there. Um, I said candied apples, you know, um, and the spices there, it's mostly a bit of pepper, nutmeg, and again, uh, the dark chocolate, and so far in the background there, every once in a while, I just get a little bit of that, you know, it's like, it's a slight bit of that tobacco, but, uh, very slight. Um, I think the, uh, I think the wood is very prominent here, the, the, the bourbon, it really comes out, especially the fact that they use good charred barrels, so. Um, th this is, a, this is a, a good whiskey. Um, it's, it's a 14 year, I, I, I know I'm kind of rushing through this tonight here, but I have, uh, you know, I drank quite a bit of this here, as you can see, there's, uh, my daughter and I actually had a few shots of this here, and um, it, 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 it's, uh, you know, when I go through something in a short period of time like that, I'm enjoying it. So I've, I've been able to kind of uh, get a few notes, you know, prior uh, that I, I've i related to. Now, you don't always get these notes when you're doing a review, eh? So I didn't give you everything I've got from it in the past and that. But um, the sweetness, uh, the, uh, the fudge, uh, the candied apples... Um, uh, the uh, cinnamon hots. I mean, those are, those are things I've had in the past, and I did get them tonight. There are some things I did get, uh, you know, prior. Uh, you know, I got dark, a lot of dark cho chocolate, not so much tonight, um, and uh, very slight in the tobacco. I've gotten the tobacco before. Uh, I have got some uh, some ginger and uh, uh, even maybe a little bit of. Uh, uh, the baking spices and all that, malt, um, you know, and that kind of stuff in the past. You know, definitely the malt came through. But uh, tonight it's it's more, uh, the, the oak is sort of coming through a little bit more. But uh, anyways, um, this is a, a, a good whiskey. It deserves a respectable score. I've always tried to put uh, the dollar value in my whiskey scores. Uh, and uh, at the price you're paying here, 82, 83, 14 year old, what we're getting, uh, this is 83, 84, probably give it an 84, I think it's a fair score for it. Uh, it's a very enjoyable whiskey, could be a good uh, summer whiskey too, eh? Uh, it, it's not a heavy hitter, but it's certainly uh, got a heavier body than, than the 12 or the 15. Uh, and that's my palate. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at 84. So, uh, anyways, um, Glenn, Glenn uh, Fick, uh, uh, the Bourbon Barrel Reserve, 14. I, I really believe it's a, it's a whiskey that you should have if you're looking at something and you're on a budget and all that. Uh, if you can squeak uh, 83 bucks out, 80, 82, 83 bucks out, and you want a good 14-year-old whiskey, uh, this is one of uh, Glenn Fittick's better whiskeys. Certainly uh, getting closer to the 18. So. Uh, I'm going to ask you to drink wisely, drink intelligently, do not drink and drive, uh, until the next time. Slosh.